back, everybody. Welcome back into our kitchen. Now, I don't know if you know this, what? but mustard is an often misunderstood condiment. Never really <laughs> thought about it. You know, it's misunderstood. It's a lovely condiment, yet it's all alone there at the end yeah. of the craft service yeah. table, and nobody really wants to pay any attention to it. But Dan <laughs> Kohler is here to make today. <laughs> to get to the bottom of the science of mustard. Well, you know, ketchup is the most popular condiment yeah. in America, yes. but around the world, mustard can be found in nearly every country, especially, uh, you know, north of the equator. Mm -hmm. and, and that really tells us how important this is, and, and I think it's very polarizing. And Brooke and I were talking earlier, you have very strong opinions about mustard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. It lives in the shadow of ketchup. It sure does. I mean, I mean, I and mayo's got its own thing going on. Poor mustard's all You won't time. find ketchup around the world, but mustard nope. you will. So. That's right, that's right. Very American. All right, so what is mustard? Let's just start there. So my favorite chef calls mustard seeds the chili peppers of the northern hemisphere. Uh -huh. oh. And the reason he says this is actually because in, in colder climates, obviously, chili peppers don't grow. But we as humans like that tingle. We like mm. something that's a little spicy on our tongue, and we've found that in mustard seeds. Mustard seeds don't have capsaicin, which is what makes a chili pepper spicy. What they have is something called an isothiocyanate, which Kim Douglas. Oh, That's Kim. Right. <laughs> Remember a couple days ago for burns, yeah. Olivia, ah. did you know for burns you can put um, mustard? A little bit of mustard. Out. Because these isothiocyanate Capsaic. compounds are enzymes that are actually, um, they're, they're irritants. So they draw blood to an area, and we've used them since Roman times to sort of cure aches and pains. Uh, and when you crush these seeds up and mix them with water, these compounds, which are called myrosin and sinigrin, they actually create mustard oils. And suddenly you have this very strong, potent, uh, and spicy mixture. Now, that reaction does not happen at all if you mix it with vinegar. So this is what's interesting. So without the vinegar, mustard is a spice. Yeah, it's actually kind of like a hot that. sauce a little mm. bit there. So I wanna, sh I wanna show you guys this right now. I just have some mm. ground up mustard seed. These are exactly the same. They're both yellow mustard seed ground up. This is pure white vinegar. And you'll see when I whisk this in, and you're gonna taste it. The, the, uh, the vinegar actually completely neutralizes that chemical reaction, and what you have is something kind of, uh, I mean, tart and acidic and vinegary, but you don't have really any of that heat that we associate with, uh, let's say, wasabi or, or some of those other. So we can make our own mustard at home. Oh my God, you, you absolutely can. I want you guys to try this. I want you to you know, dip those spoons in there and get a taste of this. That's the more mild mustard. Now you'll see, while they're tasting that, I'm mixing just some plain water in with this mustard powder. No, Ooh. This is paleo. A little tart. A little vinegary, but not very spicy. So if you, when Intense. you make a salad dressing, you, you often oh. put vinegar in. Does that mean it takes wow. away the strength of it when you put the vinegar in? The uh, well, you know, dressing. if you're using prepared mustard in your salad dressings and you're adding extra vinegar, that prepared mustard has already been <coughs> sort of neutralized by, uh, mm -hmm. by vinegar in it. Now this is just mixed with water and you will taste something ah. complete. Okay, so is this gonna be different. like hot sauce? We this one be is careful. gonna be this one's gonna be a little more a little more well, that, a, a, a little more <laughs> fire exactly. as it were. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Try Do you make your own mustard at home? Woo! 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 That's the that's oh, reaction okay. we were looking for. I like for. it. I like it. <laughs> wow. My husband cool. loves mustard. He just so this is, I mean, this is what's fascinating about Whoa. mustard. With just water, that's that chemical good. reaction wow. is free to, free to occur, and you get something that like clears your sinuses entirely. Totally. <laughs> that's good. Right up your nose, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dan, you did this on purpose. Absolutely. <laughs> All in that's the name like of eating, chemistry. That's like eating a whole thing of wasabi. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. It's that's the, good so to wasabi know. also has isothiocyanin. And we don't really oh. identify mustard with spice. No. I mean, I would never think about the raw form. Right. Woo. And so if you like something that's milder, and you know, for instance, this yellow mustard over here, the French's yellow mustard is just mustard seed mixed with vinegar. That's why it has none of that fire it's to blind. it. Like the first one it's we blind. tried. Yeah, the first it's one blind. we tried. Why do all the mustards look so different? Okay, so this kind of comes down to, to mustard seed in general. There's three kinds of mustard seed, yellow, brown and black, and all, all of these will actually grow up into something called mustard greens, which I, I think, Debbie, you said love you, you love mustard greens. I love right? mustard I love greens, they're yeah. delicious. And so it's a vegetable that you can eat, and it actually has some of that flavor of mustard with it. Once you have the seeds and pick it, um, the darker they are, the spicier they'll be, the more compounds okay. they have. But all it, all it takes to make mustard at that point is crushing it up and mixing it with a liquid if you want something that's hot. So for instance, if you go to a Chinese restaurant mm -hmm. and oh, you have hot salt. Chinese mustard, yes. guess what? That's it. That's it. That's it's it. just that's ground up mustard yeah. seed with water. water. There's nothing else. How, how are the seeds? Are they underground? Is it like a, yeah, from the yeah. base of the leaf? Yeah, it grows, it grows underneath. Yeah. And, and if we look at all the kinds of mustard that are available to you, you know, obviously if you mix honey in, you've got 
suddenly mm -hmm. honey mustard. Sure. If you move over here, this is kind of spicy brown mustard. This is something that uses a mix of water and vinegar. Which is wow. your favorite, Dan? What kind of mustard so, do you? I'll be a, I'm a little biased. You're a mustard expert. I'm a little yeah. biased. My favorite, my favorite mustard is something that I make at home, and I either make it with hard cider or with beer, and we've got the recipe oh. for you online. Oh. It's so easy to make, and it, I, I, honestly, it keeps for months in the fridge, so there's no excuse not to make this guy this weekend. Okay. Okay. Can we taste that one? Is that what we have here? You have it. Oh, we have? You have that with your bread. What do you use your mustard on at home? Uh, I mean, I love mustard on a good sandwich, but also I love Ooh. mustard on pork chops. I actually mm -hmm. love mustard in salad dressings. I think it's a very underutilized concept. What's the difference between hard cider mm. and beer in the, the in the mustard? This is hot. Flavor. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean cider. Oh, <laughs> that's strong. Ooh. Wow. That is strong. Wow. My it's husband's flavor. That's it. That's amazing. My, husband that's amazing. my husband's French, mm. and they put mustard on their steak. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Dijon mustard, actually. Dijon mustard in our salad dressing. It's famous yeah. uh, yeah, for being made with the juice of unripe grapes. That's the liquid Ooh. they use there. So could you basically use any liquid? Could, could I put use, orange juice yeah, in it if I wanted? Yeah, you could use anything. And, you know, in, in Italy, they, call, they have something called mostarda. Now, mm -hmm. uh, that is made with fruit. So if you stir fruit into it, and this is what I'm telling you. Mustard is eaten above the northern hemisphere in nearly every country. And it's so delicious. So what's the best powdered mm -hmm. one you can get? I mean, for powdered, I love Coleman's. I think okay. you can go, you can't go wrong with that. I'm going to get some of that, and I'm going to try yeah, it. Please do. Too. Sure, please yeah. myself. <laughs> and you guys can go to our website for the complete recipe of how to make Dan's mustard, and also visit him on his website. And up next, we've got more from the family. Don't go anywhere.